And I'm so happy to welcome Reid on the show from Kaloui Nunavut. How are you doing, Reid? Nice to see you. I'm good. Nice to see you, too. You know, elsewhere in Canada, uh, regions in Canada have dealt with COVID in different ways. Nunavut has not had one confirmed case uh, yet. So what's the pandemic been like for you? Um, I think it's been nerve wracking for everyone, even though we uh, haven't had a confirmed case. We're still very much practicing um social distancing or physical distancing and um, just following all the rules that the government's been giving people. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing that we don't have a confirmed case. We're probably the only place in the world with no cases. I, I know from spending time in Khalabit with you, with you and your, and your kind of fellow artists uh, and, and, you know, going to concerts and being part of shows there. I know what a close-knit community, especially people who make art in Nunavut are. What's it, what's it been like to have to spend this time apart? It's been very hard for me. And um, I know for sure that it's been hard for everyone else. Because when you're in a small community, you see everyone every day, you go and visit, you stop by and say hi, but like not being able to do that, just being stuck at home um, has been very hard. But also, I feel very lucky to be able to, or like during this pandemic, being here in Nunavut and having such vast landscape that I could go and just walk around and not come in contact with anyone, you know? Sounds like I a dream. That's, that's the bonus of it all, yeah. <laughs> Especially here in Toronto, I would love not to see anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, one of your gigs, in addition to playing music, is you're the host of the children's television program, Anana's Tent, the only children's show entirely in Inutitut. I know you just recorded some PSAs for kids about COVID-19. What did you want to say to them? Um, I think we just, we wanted to make a PSA because I feel like it would be a very confusing time for these little kids who don't really understand what a pandemic is or um, how, how you could get this virus. And um, we, we just wanted, it, it was just an idea that came up while we were um, recording little story times for season three of Anana's Tent. So um, yeah, just to make it or tell them in a simple way what this virus is and what you should be doing to keep yourself safe. <laughs> what kind of advice were you giving in terms of keeping yourself safe? Just very simple, like wash your hands for 20 seconds with warm water and soap. Um, be arm's length from like other people and don't visit other people's houses. Um, just very simple things that everyone should be following. Not even, sometimes not even adults can follow those. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I know a couple of adults who could use those PSAs too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've also been doing these Instagram videos that I'm I'm really been taken with with you and your your sometimes musical partner uh, Alexia, you know, throat singing on Instagram uh, and putting these up online. Tell me about mm -hmm. making those videos and why you put those up. Um I think me Alexia has this old vinyl of um a couple of uh, women from northern Quebec, Nunavik, um, they went down south to record some throat singing. And we've been listening to um, the songs and the way that they throat sing is so fascinating. Um, and so every, every time me and Alexia hang out, um, we've just been 
trying to practice and imitate their sounds and because I feel like a lot of their sounds like their elders and a lot of their sounds got lost over time mm. and like they're all very guttural and very fast like the pace is very very fast and so um we've been practicing uh singing through um that way so yeah and i don't know like during this whole craziness it's as an artist i feel like i have um no um social media content to post lately so i've been trying to find ways to do that so throat singing recording throat singing was one of those ways when you say uh, i don't i don't want you to get you, only get as nerdy as you want here, but you know how nerdy I like to get. When you say it's, <laughs> yeah. when you say the throat singing you're hearing is fascinating to you, um, tell tell me about that. What are you hearing? Um, I don't even really know how to describe it, but like, I think the best way, the best words that I could use is they sound very. Um, um, how do I say it? I don't want to say elderly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best word to use, but you could very clearly tell when, um, if you were to let me listen to two people, two young people throat singing and two elder, elderly women throat singing, like I could very much tell the difference. And my goal as a throat singer has always been to sound like an elderly woman. Like, it, it just sounds so amazing and so cool. <laughs> Your album was nominated for the Juno for Indigenous Artist of the Year. You still have no idea whether you'll won or not. That's a very weird feeling. I know. Oh. I, like, forget about it sometimes. And then I just, this thought pops up into my head and it's just like, I wonder who won. <laughs> like, will we ever know? I don't know. <laughs> I've been trying to tell people just pretend you won for the rest of your life. Like, I hope it never comes out. Yeah. You can just say you won. For, I might have won. Who knows? Yeah. 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 It was crazy, though, because... Um, so my mom and my best friend, um, Rachel, were flying down on the day they announced that Junos were canceled. They literally like got on the plane, 30 minutes after they took off, they announced that it was canceled. And I was just like, oh no, they're on the plane. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. What's the, are, are you still making, are you still making art? Are you still writing during this time? Yes, I've actually, been very inspired lately um and and it doesn't come around for me very often i get such bad writer's block so but i've been very inspired lately maybe it's because i have all this time on my hands but also i've been watching cool um like music videos and i got really into straight out of oz it's, have you heard about it? No. It's like um, a version of Lemonade, the Lemonade film. By Beyonce. By, by Beyonce. It's like that, but um, it's of a YouTuber. I don't know his name. Um, black guy, black gay guy. And he created this amazing um, film just like Lemonade but like breaking the stigma of gay people and um, yeah it was really amazing to watch that and it gave me so many so many inspirations. So you've been writing you've been making new music? Yeah. That must feel good. It does feel good. What does what is the first thing you're going to do when this lockdown is over? I am, 
I want to book a tour and I want to get back on stage. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I heard that Nunavut and um, Northwest Territories are going to maybe have some kind of bubble. So it feels like things are starting to open up. I haven't heard that actually, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you seeing signs of life opening back up again? Yeah, big time. Um, all of the GN offices are open now and some of the daycares are opening up. Um, but unfortunately, school is done for the year. So, um, so I'm just not working at all right now. <laughs> right. So right. I'm still kind of in, like stuck at home. Um, but yeah. But it is, it does sort of feel like you're living in the future. Like I, I can, I can see that like things yeah. are starting to open up and that must be a good feeling. Yeah. Um, you're going to perform a song for us. I'm really excited for you to do this. Uh, what song is it going to be? Um, it's called Atataga. This is the title track. Yeah. <laughs> tell me about the, tell us about the song. Um, it's about my dad who passed away almost seven years ago now. This, this month is actually his seventh year um, anniversary since he passed away. Um, but yeah, I wrote this song for him and dedicated my whole record to him so and what was his name michael murphy <laughs> michael murphy well this is this is for him reed lovely to see you you too thank you